Hello my crafty friends, Donna here. If you want to learn how to paint a glass jar with no peeling, watch this video to the end. Welcome to my channel and another video. If it's your first time here and you want to learn some craft tips and tricks, you are in the right place. Make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Are you ready? Let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is wipe this jar down with some plain old rubbing alcohol. I don't know how well you can see on camera, but there are some oily fingerprints on this jar. Alcohol will remove fingerprints and any dirt or grime that could be on the jar from the store or from you handling it. Once you wipe the jar down with alcohol, the first coat of paint will stick properly. Where are you watching from? I'd love to know. I'm filming from Las Vegas, Nevada in the US and it is just a beautiful day here today. Let me know in the comments what you think about this technique and let me know if you try it. I'd love to hear if you have great results. After the jar is nice and clean, it's going to be time to put on the first coat of paint. You can use craft paint or you can use what I'm using, which is ordinary paint for your walls. You can get sample sizes in any home improvement store. I like it because I can have it mixed in any color, which is great when I need a particular color for a special project and it makes a great craft paint. It has a really nice soft finish. And you get more paint for your money, so it is a win-win. I'm being very careful not to get any paint on the threads of this jar. I intend to add a soap dispenser lid, and if there is any paint on the threads, it won't screw on properly. I'll let my first coat of paint dry for a couple of hours and then I'm going to add a coat of matte spray sealer. The matte spray sealer is actually the most important step for this technique. It puts a layer between the two coats of paint so that when you're putting on your second coat of paint the first coat won't peel off and this is entirely possible when you're putting your second coat of paint because it's wet and when the wet hits that first coat, it can actually peel right off the jar, especially if you're using craft paint. If this video has been helpful for you, don't forget to like and subscribe, and don't forget to share it with your friends. Make sure you watch this video to the end and you'll be able to click on the next video so that you can watch this technique in action. But before I put the matte sealer on this jar, I'm going to cover the threads with some masking tape to protect them. So when I'm done, the soap dispenser lid will screw on properly. And look how nice and smooth the second coat of paint goes on when you add the matte sealer between coats. It leaves a nice smooth finish. Nothing is lifting off the jar and nothing is peeling off the jar. You can add additional coats of paint if needed to obtain the look you're going for. You won't need to add the matte sealer between the other coats. When you're finished, give it one last coat of sealer. For the finish, you can use matte or gloss depending on the look you wish to achieve. And this is what happens if you don't put the matte sealer between your first and second coats of paint. As you can see, as I'm putting the second coat of paint on, it's lifting the first coat right off the jar.
I ran this jar under some water and as you can see, every single bit of paint is literally running off the jar. If you have the matte sealer on your jar, it will not do this. I added one more coat of matte sealer and a coat of matte sealer between the first and second coats of paint. Once you do that, you can run as much water as you want on this jar and the paint will not peel or run off. As you can see, the water just beads up on it. Now you know how to get a great finish on any glass jar that you paint. No peeling and no paint lifting off. Thanks for watching and good luck with your next project.